Hi friends. Today we are going to start the class with some standing exercises to challenge our center to support our ideal postural alignment. And then we're going to move on to the floor to do a quick Pilates mat class. Okay, let's go ahead and find our standing position. I'd like you to half look down and half your feet hip width distance apart. What that means is your feet are pointing forward in parallel position and if you draw a straight line from the center of the hip joint, it will go straight down to the second toes or perhaps between the big toes and the second toes. Approximately, you may have a fist distance between the heels and the toes. And I like you to lift the center, drawing up the abdominal wall and allow your arms to just dangle onto the side, opening across the front of the chest without altering or pushing the shoulder back. Just allow the shoulder to dangle, but find the lift from the base of the pelvis. So we press our feet down, we lift up our pelvic floor, our abdominal wall, just allow the arms to dangle, the chest is nice and open, the neck is reaching away from the shoulders and the head is just floating. Okay, we're going to start with some roll down. We take an in breath, I'd like you to soften the knees here. As we exhale, we're going to tip the head down and we're going to allow the spine to articulate down, staying in flexion as much as you can. And then at a certain point, your pelvis will tip forward and we're going to continue our journey towards the floor. And then keeping in line, keeping in mind that your feet are still in parallel position. As you breathe out, press the feet down to the earth as you lift the abdominal wall, taking the pelvis to a vertical alignment and then stacking up the rest of the spine to an upright position. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in. Exhale, nod the head down, articulate the spine. Just keep the arms dangling by the side. I like you to stay in flexion, run back as much as you can, and then tip the pelvis forward. Again, your knees are still soft. Your feet are still in parallel position. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, press the feet, lifting up the spine. Take the pelvis up vertically and then stacking up the whole spine, coming into a beautiful upright alignment. Excellent. Now let's place your hands at the top of the hip joint here, not your waist, the hip joint. So you feel this two little nozzle bone in the front here. Let's place a handstand. Now here, we're going to move on. We're going to bend the knee forward to what I call the footwork. We normally do this on a reformer, but we're going to do this on a mat standing. So knees forward, your spine is still upright. Exhale, we'll lift. Inhale, we bend the knees, gaze to the front. Exhale, we'll lift. So I like you to not tip the pelvis forward. Oh, sorry, your body forward, tip the pelvis back as you bend the knees. So knees forward, bottom down, the spine is still long, exhale, we lift. Inhale, we bend, exhale, we lift. The feet are still parallel, the knees goes over the feet and lift. Three more, bend, exhale, lift. Drawing the abdominal wall as you straighten the legs. Go ahead and bend the knees again. Now pull the abdominal, lift the heels up, straighten the legs, lower the heels. Bend the knees, lift the heels up, straighten the legs and lower. And stay upright, heels up, lift and lower. Two more, bend, heels up, lift and down. Last one, bend, heels up, lift, and let's reverse. Come up onto your toes, bend the knees, lower the heels, and straighten, and up. Bend the knees, heels down, 
and straighten, rise up and bend, heels down and straighten, two more up. We bend, we draw the heels down, we lift, last one up, we bend, we draw the heels down and we lift. And then the next one we're going to prancing. We're going to come up onto a tippy toe, pull up the center, opening up the chest. Now we lower one heel down, bend the other knee and then rise up. What's important here is to maintain the pelvis stability here. So as you lower one heel, I don't want it to sway over to the side. Whoop, rise up and then sway over to the side. So keep the pelvis in the middle and just move through the ankle bones. We in breath and in breath, stay lifted, exhale and exhale. Pull up the center, in breath and exhale and exhale. Last set, in breath, in breath and exhale and exhale. Rise above heels up and lower good job shake the legs okay let's go down onto our mat roll to your side and straight away lie on your back in your supine position okay feet are hip distance apart opening the chest neck is long gaze to the ceiling let's go to our pelvic curl we breathe out Drawing the abdominal wall in, print the lower spine and articulate all the way up to your bridging. Big toes pressing down to the floor to activate the inner thighs. Breath out, roll down and release. And we go again, breathe out, articulate up to that bridging position. Your hamstrings are active, inner thighs active, neck is long, exhale, roll it down and release down let's go two more exhale we roll up again to the bridge in breath at the top exhale down and release last one here exhale we lift up to the bridging position in breath exhale we come down and release we hold the center in, we take one leg up to the table with that jolting, with that swaying the pelvis and second leg up, legs together, squeeze the inner thighs, open your arms to the T position, moving to our spine, to your supine, to your right as we in breath. Exhale, center, to the left as you in breath. Exhale, center, and moving from the waistline, opposite shoulder is down, making sure the legs travel together as one unit. Exhale, come back, one more each side, inhale. Exhale, come back, last one, in breath. Exhale, come back, we lower one foot down, second down, the second leg down, pardon me, arms long by the side. Let's go to our leg changes. We take one leg up to tabletop again. As you breathe out, we switch. And we switch. Movement from the hip joint, keeping the knee joint constant. And your center is active, stabilizing the pelvis and the lower spine. Exhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Two more sets and switch. Last set and switch. Both legs up to tabletop. Lower one foot down. Second one down. Take your hands interlaced behind the back of your head at the bottom of the head. Elbows are off the floor. Let's go to our chest lift here. We breathe in. As we exhale, the abdominal muscle pull in and lengthen the spine and we're going to lift the chest up. In breath. Exhale to come down. Inhale. Exhale. We'll lift. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. We go down, in breath, inhale, exhale, one more, 
Then let's come up again. Let's add the rotation. So we look. Take your arms forward, palms together. Rotate to the right. In breath center. Rotate to the left. Inhale center. Rotating from the waist and center. And then left. Gaze to your hands. And then right. Think about lifting up. And then left. And then lifting up. One more each side. Left. Last one. We lift hands behind your head and come on down. And we're going to take the leg a little bit further. So extend the leg slightly, but keep the knees bent. Dorsiflex the feet. Squeeze the legs together. Take your arms overhead. Let's go to a modified roll up here. We inhale to lift the head and the chest. Grab the back of your thighs if you need to. Otherwise, arm by the side. As you exhale, pull in the center. We come up to the C curve. We in breath. Exhale, we roll the spine back again. And take the arms overhead. Again, inhale, lift the chest, grab the back of your thighs if you need to. Otherwise, arms by the side. Exhale, we pull up. Dig the heels into the floor. Inhale. Exhale, roll down, sacrum down, lower spine down. Then take the arms overhead. Last one here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, we come up, up, up. Stay in that C curve position. Grab the shin above the ankle and point your feet, balance on your tailbone, still keeping that round back positioned. Take the feet off balance. Now we're going to hold the shape, moving to our rolling like a ball. We inhale, roll to the shoulder, exhale, balance. Inhale, roll, exhale, balance. Three more, roll. And balance. Two more. Roll. Balance. Last one. Roll. And balance. Hold. Feet down. For a moment, open the knees out to the side. Elongate. And lift the spine up. And give me a slight high release here. And release down. Okay. Let's turn your body to the side. Lie on your side, have your legs long. Let's go to our side lift here. So top hand in front of you, bottom arms long. Gap underneath the waist. As you breathe up, pull the belly in, lift the legs, reach. And down. And lift. And down. And lift. As you go down, keep your legs hovering off the floor. Two more, lift. Last one, lift. Release, bend the knees in, help yourself up, reach the bottom arm long, lift up and stretch over to the other side. And come up and let's change direction. So onto the other side, bottom arm is long, legs are long underneath you, lifting the bottom waist up and we go lifting and down. Whenever you breathe, they're pulling in the abdominal muscle in. But keep the spine reaching out to the tip of the hands overhead. And lift. And down. Two more. Lift. Last one. And lift. And release. Let's roll onto our front and have your hands in a diamond press position. Stack one hand on top of the other. Elbows wide, legs are long behind you, and your head is just floating over your hands. Active abdominal wall here, and then energy out through your legs down to your toes. As you breathe out, the belly comes in. As you breathe in, shorter blades comes down. Gently press the hands down and lift the upper back up into extension. And we lower. One more like so. We glide the shoulder blade. So we're using the back muscle to lift our back up into extension. Now hold this position. Whatever hand is on top, I want it to lift the arm and the hand 
up. So I have my right arm on top of my left and then lower. So we're going to maintain that extension and I'll lift the arm up. The top arm comes up, two more, and then comes up, last one, comes up, and down, and lower the chest down. Switch your hand. Now I have my left hand on top of my right. I press my forearm down, I lift my back, hold, glide my shoulder blades down, and then I lift my left arm up, and then down, and lift and down, and lift, and down, two more, last one, and down, lower the chest down, bring your hands, your forearm on the side of the shoulder, push the floor away, and just push yourself into rest position, and then come back into your modified quadruped position, and we're going to do a modified cat. So your pelvis will be in between the knee and your toes or your feet. Okay, heels of the palm aligned with the shoulder. Starting with the long back, we breathe out, we curl the spine and flatten, extend the upper back, arch away. Two more, exhale round and flat back inhale reach and flat last one round and flat inhale reach the upper back and flat back and i like you to walk your hand towards the knee now and heels down push the floor away go into a little upside down position make sure your feet are hip width distance apart and soften your knees a little bit you can take yourself into a deeper fold in the hip and now from here as you breathe out let's roll the spine up softening the knees stacking up the pelvis above the thigh and the lower spine above the pelvis, the middle spine, the upper spine, the shoulders resting, the necks floating, the head is reaching off, tall, keeping your arms dangling by the side, feeling the front of the chest opening across the front of your body. Inhale to the nose and exhale and let that go thank you friends for joining me today i like you to observe how you're standing today at the end of the class perhaps after this find a mirror stand in front of them and see how you feel thank you for joining me today and i wish you a lovely day congratulations on completing the class well done I am Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.